Ireland has just voted for abortion. The journalists have flown across the world to be here. Finally, we've gotten with the times. But instead of a terrible beauty, a new cruel reality was really born. This was ultimately a loss, only they didn't know. The mob had forgotten something in their haste. A quiet revolution. We're disgusted at what happened to children in some of the institutions, how babies were treated after they were born, and then we just go and vote to take away the right of babies you know, before they're born. So how can a country that seems so civilised do this to their youngest members? As RTE well knew, dead babies tell no tales. They needed to go back to using fear, and they went back to the death of Savita Halapanava. But we had an issue in Ireland. Um, in the last year, there was a referendum. So it was as if somebody in Google noticed the spike in our ads and said, oh boy, these guys weren't kidding. It's not that near dissonance, it's deliberate deception. What influences over a million people to pass sentence on the innocent? And as this ancient people chose their modern purge, who will inherit the land? Is it those who welcome each as a gift, or those who reject new life? This is the inside story of Ireland's abortion referendum.